Hello and welcome. There are several ways of simplifying this logarithmic equation. For instance, we can start with this first term. Of course, you know that 9 is 3 squared. So we can write this as 3 squared to the power log x. Now let us switch the places of these two powers. When we do that, we have 3 to the power log x squared. Notice that here we have 3 to the power log x, while here we have x to the power log 3. And remember that 8 to the power log to base b of c is equal to c to the power log to base b of a. The base of the two logarithms must be the same. Now look at this and look at this. It is very easy to see that 3 to the power log x is equal to x to the power log 3. Now with this observation, all you have to do is to make a substitution. You can say let x to the power log 3 be equal to the letter d. And then this equation becomes d squared minus 4 times d is equal to 5. Now, in case you do not know this identity, another way of simplifying this equation is to start with the second term and try to write this term to have the same exponent as the first term. Now, how are you going to do that? Remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So, 10, because remember that we are working in base 10. Whenever we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common log reading. So, 10 to the power log x is equal to x. So, we can rewrite this second term as 4 times 10 to the power log x. All I have done is that I have replaced this x with 10 to the power log x. And of course, this is raised to power log 3. Once more, when I switch the places of these two log readings, I have 4 times 10 to the power log 3 to the power log x. Now look at this. We have 10 to the power log 3. According to this identity, 10 to the power log to base 10 of 3 is equal to 3. So this is 4 times 3 to the power log x. So you can see that now I have written the second term to have the same exponent as the first term. And of course, you know that here, this is 3 to the power log x squared. Then the second term is now minus 4 times 3 to the power log x and this is equal to 5. So once more, you can do a substitution. You can say let 3 to the power log x be equal to d. So in this case, we have 3 to the power log x is equal to d. And this equation becomes d squared minus 4 times d is equal to 5. Exactly the same equation as we got in the first case. Now, of course, you know that whichever substitution you decide on is going to lead you to the same answer. For instance, if you decide that x to the power log 3 is going to be equal to d, then to find x, we need to take log of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that log x to the power log 3 is equal to log d. The next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms to this left-hand side. When we do that, we bring down this exponent to become a multiplier. And we have log 3 times log x is equal to log d. And finally, to find log x, all we have to do is to divide both sides of this equation by log 3. When we do that, we have log x is equal to log d over log 3. Now, on the other hand, if you decide that 3 to the power log x is going to be equal to d, 
Then once more to find the value of x, we begin by taking log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have log 3 to the power log x is equal to log d. Once more, applying the power rule, this equation becomes log x multiplied by log 3 is equal to log d. And to find log x, we divide both sides of this equation by log 3. And we have that log x is equal to log d divided by log 3. So now you can see that whichever substitution you decide on, the value of log x stays the same. But most importantly, you will see that x to the power log 3 is exactly equal to 3 to the power log x. Now to finish our solution, let x to the power log 3 be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes d squared minus 4d minus 5. I moved 5 over to the left hand side. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. Since the coefficient of d squared is 1, all we need to do is to find the factors of minus 5 that add up to minus 4. And those are going to be minus 5 and plus 1. Because minus 5 times plus 1 is equal to minus 5, while minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4. So we can factorize the left-hand side of this quadratic equation as d minus 5 multiplied by d plus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, you know that this statement simply means that either d minus 5 is equal to 0 or d plus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that d is equal to 5. While from here, we have that d is equal to minus 1. So this simply means that x to the power log 3 is equal to 5. Or x to the power log 3 is equal to minus 1. But of course, you know that there is no real value of x that is going to give us this outcome. So that means that this second equation is on acceptable. Now to find the value of x, we solve this equation and of course we take log of both sides of the equation. When we do that we have log x to the power log 3 is equal to log 5. Now when we apply the power rule of logarithms to this left hand side we have log 3 times log x is equal to log 5. And of course, to find the value of log x, we divide both sides of this equation by log 3. When we do that, we have log x is equal to log 5 divided by log 3. But of course, you know that according to our change of base formula, we can write this as log to base 3 of 5. Now, remember that when we have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, that this simply means that a raised to power c is equal to b. That is, b is equal to a to the power c. So that means that this statement is equal to, of course, you know that this base is 10. So from here, we have that x is equal to 10 to the power log to base 3 of 5. So this is the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation. And this is approximately equal to 29.1725. Now to check our answer, let us substitute these values of x and log x into the left hand side of the original equation. Here we have 9 to the power log to base 3 of 5 minus 4 times 10 to the power log to base 3 of 5 to the power log 3. Of course, you know that this is log to base 10 of 3. Now, this can be written as 3 squared to the power 
log to the 3 of 5. And switching the places of these two, we have 10 to the power log to the 10 of 3 to the power log to the 3 of 5. Of course, when we switch the places of these two powers, we have 3 to the power log to the 3 of 5 squared minus 10 to the power log to the 10 of 3 is equal to 3. So this is 3 to the power log to the 3 of 5. And of course, 3 to the power log to the 3 of 5 is equal to 5. So this is 5 squared minus 4 times 3 to the power log to the 3 of 5 is equal to 5. So this is 5. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 5 is 20. 25 minus 20 is equal to 5. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.